Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. Everyone wants to weigh in on Adam Levine's alleged affair, Adam denies it was actually an affair, with Sumner Stroh, including selling sunsets, Chriselle Staus. She took issue with the same part of Adam's statement that I did, when he said, we will get through it, we will get through it together. Chriselle tweeted, when apologizing for cheating publicly, I hate the, we will get through it together part from a man. Don't speak for her, you've done enough. Yeah, not your decision, Adam. Now, actress Sarah Foster did slam Adam. He's obviously like a total pig and gross. But she mostly attacked Sumner for revealing her alleged affair with Adam in a TikTok video. We're putting it out there for the world to see, for a pregnant woman to see when she could have just messaged her privately. She claiming like it's not her fault or something. It's like, we don't feel sorry for you. You knew this man was married. Okay, and you participated. You could have easily ignored the messages. You knew he was married. We do not feel sorry for you. As women, we need to do better. If a married man is being a pagan, like reaching out to you, you hopefully have been raised well enough to be like, no, sorry, you're married. I can't engage. Like, this chick is giving women a very bad name. And I think that as women, we need to do better. Men are gross, we know that. They're always gonna be dogs. But like as women, we need to do better. After watching her rant, Emily Ratajkowski had a response for Sarah. I'm gonna try not to go the f off right now. I just couldn't disagree more. I don't understand why we continue to blame women for men's mistakes, especially when you're talking about 20 something year old women dealing with men in positions of power who are twice their age. The power dynamic is so skewed. It's ridiculous. Like it's predatory. It's manipulative. It's, I can't imagine. I, I just, I do not agree. Also, if you're the one in a relationship, you're the one who's obligated to be loyal. So the whole other woman, like, they're to blame, that's bad. And it's literally designed to keep women apart. I think a huge problem in our culture right now is that we just say, oh, men are monsters. They're terrible. They're horrible. We don't hold them accountable. And then we blame other women. We ask women to adjust their behavior instead of just saying men need to change their behavior it's sexism it's classic misogyny emily radikowski for the win i absolutely agree with everything that emily said the person that is in the marriage made the vows there's going to be temptation there's going to be opportunities to stray but the person that is in the marriage needs to remain loyal adam made the vows sumner didn't so yeah, Sarah going after Sumner as much as she did and just accepting that men are dogs, okay, and women need to be that much better, huh? Like it's the responsibility of women because men are awful? No, Sarah, that's not how it works. There, what are your thoughts? Who bears the responsibility in an affair?